It's Friday the 13th of April. This is The Guide Live and it is the most exciting day of the year. It certainly is. People plan their outfits, their tans, their nails, what they are doing. The whole of the world are looking down not only on the slight small sporting event that they've yeah. got, but also the fashion stakes are high. It's Ladies Day at the Grand National and I think this is also the horse that I've got in the sweep. <laughs> oh, you can see. We've made a bit of effort, we haven't have we? Actually, yeah. We've made a little bit of effort. Obviously, Ladies Day Friday, everybody gets involved, whether you go into the National or not. We've got loads of information over on theguideliverpool.com about what you can get up to. So for today, the first race starts at quarter to two. It certainly does. Yeah. And the last race there is at quarter past five, swiftly followed by Gabrielle Live. I know, how what amazing is that going to be? It's going to be in the pavilion, so it's a great venue as well. Uh, Mersey Rail have really got behind it once again this year. I'm going to be down there in the station. Trains running before and after the races every yeah. seven and a half minutes going to be there with the flip-flops. I'm quite looking yes. forward to working both ends of the day because mm -hmm. I always like seeing people arrive and leave and seeing <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing before or after photos, I think. Well, speaking of photos, obviously the big thing, the big draw that's about Friday Lazy Day is, of course, the Style Award. The prize this year is humongous. A Range Rover Evoke, a holiday, vouchers, all kinds of things going on. But to be in with a chance of winning it, you've got to get your photograph taken against one of the flower walls that are dotted around Aintree. And new for this year, there's also Style scouts who are out and about looking for their best dress too oh, so you know idea. just take it easy get there nice and early you've got to make a full day of it haven't you? oh yeah definitely get there nice and early and get your photo taken if you've gone out for maybe brunch beforehand or even if you're not going the races there's such a big atmosphere around the city so many bars to go to i mean imagine what the likes of the alchemist is going to be like can yeah, you imagine going in there so like maybe you've had like sort of a few wins you want to celebrate you have a load of cocktails yeah. I, i've planned my day i'm, <laughs> I'm done going to those, anyway. <laughs> now of course the party continues into saturday for the biggest horse race in the world. If you're not actually heading to Aintree, there's loads of really good parties going on. The likes of Camp and Fairness have got all the action live on the big screen. So, uh, should we make a start on the gin? Yeah, it looks like my horse is making its way over. <laughs> Happy Ladies Day. More details all over on the guys at the